How do trees get on the internet? They log in. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is day number four of Camping Week, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a campfire log, one that you would sit on when you're at a campfire. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, today we're drawing a log like you might have at a campfire site, uh, something to sit on, a larger, larger log that you can sit on. Um, basically, a log is a cylinder, and like this cardboard tube, we're going to be uh, drawing it from like a three-quarter view, which means you see a large part of the side, but then you also will see the end. Okay, and so if you wanted to use a, a cardboard tube as an example to kind of look at, that's something else you can do because you can look at it from different angles, different perspectives, and you can get a feel for how the log should look. Um, I'm going to show you a drawing here at the end that I did in a different direction than what I'm going to show you right now. Um, first of all, though, I want to start with an oval shape. Okay, it's slightly tilted. It's not really straight up and down. It's kind of tilted to the left. And then I'm going to make two parallel lines that extend off to the upper right. And I'm going to kind of curve them in towards the middle. Um, this is not necessarily required, but it, it will make it look more uh, natural looking. If it's just straight across, it looks too, uh, too perfect. So we want to make it a little bit rough like a log would be. So I'm going to make them go kind of in. And then on the end, I'm going to make another curve. And this curve is the same kind of curve that you have here. So it's parallel to that curve. Let me clean this part up just a little bit. So this is the basic shape for the log. Now to make it look more like a log, on the end here, I'm going to draw uh, rings like you would see if you cut a branch or in this case a tree trunk. Um, since it's a larger piece of wood. So I'm just drawing circles that go around and around. These don't have to be perfectly straight. If you ever look at the, the edge of a, a log or, or branch, then you'll see that the rings are not necessarily perfect circles. They're just kind of um, stacked as the tree grows year after year after year after year. Okay, so there's that's what the end of the log is going to look like. And then I'm going to draw the bark. Just a rough wavy line all the way across. You can go back and forth with that. And you can also add other little details like you might put part of a um, branch that, that comes off to the side sticking out. Maybe it got cut off but it's still that uh, part is left and that might look at, make this look even more like a real real log as well. Now you'd have to be careful if you were sitting on this log not to sit on that part but that happens every once in a while. You just have to be careful with that. Here's another angle, same kind of log but from a different angle where I started on the right side and then the log goes to the left. So that's just a simple kind of a log that you can sit on at a campfire and that is our drawing for the day, a campfire log. Well now that you know how to draw a log, let's take some time and see how we can add that to the big picture. Okay, this is what our big picture looks like so far. Um, today what I did, I went ahead and, and colored in some of the, the water here. Um, didn't complete that yet because I'm going to be drawing some more in this area and I don't want to have to uh, try to erase what I've colored in. Um, I went ahead and colored the uh, campfire in and the flames. You might notice I start off with a yellow on the flames and then I added a little bit of orange towards the bottom and then red on top of that and that gave me kind of that uh, look for the flame. Um, also, I've, I've planted these uh, campfire logs around the campfire and I've got them at different angles just like we talked about. Um, I've got one that's turned where you can see the left end and I've got one here where you can turn that you can see the right end. And the same here. The, this is the same kind of log as over here. This one's larger because it's closer to us and the same as this. This one's smaller because it's farther away and this one's larger because it's closest, closer to us, but it's basically the same type of log. Um, so this is what I've done and this is what our picture, big picture, looks like for today. Well now I'd like to take some time and show you a few camping photographs from when I was a kid. 
Okay, this first picture is of me and my brother in an orange pup tent that I got for my sixth birthday. We're camping out in the backyard, really excited to be camping out. In this picture, you, uh, you see my brother, he's at the campfire. This is outside of a camper that we were staying in. I'm sitting back at the picnic table in the back, but uh, my brother, it looks like he's, he's roasting, either he's roasting a marshmallow or he's just sticking the stick in the fire, not really sure. And in this one, this is myself and my brother, we're at 4-H uh, camp, and this is the first time we got to go together at 4-H camp. This is, uh, we're standing there with Chief Tecumseh. There's many different ways and places to go camping, and it can be a fun way to spend some time with your family and friends, and I hope you get a chance to go camping somewhere this summer. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back tomorrow, and remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.